What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and in this video we are going to be going over the John Deere FC15M. Now this is going to be a flex wing rotary cutter that falls right in the middle of that rotary cutter lineup. Now if you are not familiar with the John Deere rotary cutters, I have a video going over that complete lineup. So I'll leave that down in the description below so you can check that out. But for now we're going to be talking about the FC15M. This is probably our most popular cutter, the one that we sell the most of. So let's go over what makes it so popular and some of the specs and features of this machine. All right, so let's start by talking about the model number FC15M. So what this is going to stand for is flex cutter 15, which is going to be 15 feet, meaning it's 15 feet wide. And then M is going to be our trim level, kind of like on our tractors or other John Deere equipment, how you have an E, M, and an R. Rotary cutters are going to be the same weight. So M is going to be that kind of middle class here on these rotary cutters. So you also have a 15E, and you're also going to have a 15R, which are going to be the E is going to be a little less. The M is right in the middle. The R is going to be a little more. You're gonna need a little less, a little more out of those features. Right here, we're right in between. On this cutter, the first thing to talk about, obviously, let's talk about the way it hooks up to your tractor. So this is going to have a clevis style hitch on it. The nice thing about this clevis style hitch is it is going to have front suspension. So right underneath this heavy cast iron piece here, you're gonna have a couple of springs that are going to provide suspension whenever it's riding on the tractor to make for a smoother ride whenever you're pulling this machine behind your tractor. You're also going to have this heavy duty jack here at the front. It's going to be easily removed with this pin system here so that you have that for whenever you're not using the machine. And then as we work our way back, next thing that we're going to notice obviously is going to be our drive line. So we're going to have a heavy duty drive line that goes from your tractor to the splitter gear case here, which we'll get to here in a minute. Now, the nice thing about this drive line is you can pick between a 540 or a 1000. So depending on what your tractor is you have the option on the FC15M to pick between that 540 or that 1000. Now, the reason that we call this the splitter gear case is because you are getting power from the tractor to this gear case out to the three gear boxes that are going to go to your blade. So as we can see, we have one gear box here, one out on the right wing, one over here on the left wing. And then if we open this up, right here taking this pin loose and then taking the two bottom pins loose as well we can open this up and show that splitter gear case right here that is running these three drive lines that are going to be running your blades. Now, to go along with our gear cases, you're also going to have a couple other things that you are going to have to hook up to your tractor. So what you're going to have are going to be these three pieces here. One is gonna be an electrical plug. This is gonna be for your lights on this machine. Then we are going to have two hydraulic hoses. One of these is going to run the up and down of the machine so whether to lower it or to raise it the other one is going to be to fold out your wings so the wings on the fc15m are going to fold out simultaneously if you are wanting a machine to where you can fold up one wing and leave the other one down then we need to look into going up into an fc15r so that is one specific thing about the fc15m is once you raise those wings up those are going to raise simultaneously at the same time but you can can raise and lower the machine by itself independently. All right, so now let's get into the meat and potatoes. Some of the things that you may not think about whenever you're looking into one of these cutters is let's think about how this machine is built. As you can see, this is going to be made out of heavy duty steel all the way around. One thing that you are going to notice is you're going to have different thicknesses depending on where you're at on the machine. So our main deck here, our main flat piece that makes up the top here and right here on the bottom side to the top. This is going to be 10 gauge steel. Once we get over here to our side skirting, this is gonna be six gauge steel. So you're gonna be way thicker over here on the sides than you are on the top. And the reason being is, is that these sides are gonna be rubbed up against all kinds of stuff. So this is where the brunt of our damage and our wear and our tear is gonna take place is gonna be on our side skirts. So that is going to be a heavier material. Now, what you're also gonna notice is you're gonna notice square tubing that runs around here on the front. This is going to run all the way around and over to the back. 
So that is going to help with that frame strength of the machine. And then once we get to looking at our blade assembly, what you're going to have is a two blade assembly and a stump jumper, or what you could have is a bar style system. So you could get the option without this plate here, which is called your stump jumper, just have a bar that has those two swinging blades. This is also going to allow you to do a dual bladed system if you decided to. So you could actually add another set of blades to the ones you already have to kind of give a more mulching effect with this machine. Now, some of the things that you're also going to see under here are going to be this piece here. This is going to be actually your protectant for the top deck of the machine. So that's going to keep these blades here. If they were to get wild and out of place, that is gonna keep them from damaging this deck. That's what those are in place for. You're also going to have your safety chains here. They're gonna to help to keep debris from blowing out of this machine. And you're going to have these same features on the other side and under the middle as well. So once we make it to the rear of the machine, we are going to have some options here. So for one, we're gonna have an option on what type of tires we're gonna have on this machine. You're gonna have three different options. You're gonna have the laminated tires, which are the pieces of rubber that are stacked up onto each other all the way around the tire or you're going to have these regular severe duty ag tires you can also get these severe duty ag tires that are foam filled so you have those three different options you're also going to have an option here on your suspension you can either have a spring suspension or you can have this torsion axle suspension which as you can see here what this is this is going to be a tube frame around a tube frame with rubber isolators in the middle that are going to act as that suspension. So whenever you push on this, then that is where the suspension is going to happen. It's going to be a torsion style suspension on this axle from this tubing up against this tubing. Now, overall, this rotary cutter is pretty plain and simple. It does have a lot of moving pieces, a lot of things going on here. But at the end of the day, this machine is made for cutting large pastures. So this is gonna be a great machine that if you have those large pastures, those rolling hills, maybe even, even those driveways, or long roads out in the country that you're needing to cut, this is gonna be a great machine. The one thing about the flex wing that is nice is that it is truly a flex wing. So it is going to have those hinges where these wings obviously come up and fold and they're in a 90 degree position, but they're also going to have some fold that are gonna go downward. You're gonna be able to go down 22 degrees while you're mowing and up 43 degrees while you're mowing so that you can really make up the difference on those rolling hills depending on where you're at. Now, some more specs about this machine whenever you are going to look at it. For one, cutting diameter. How big a material can this machine cut? It is going to be able to cut up to three inch material. Next big question is horsepower. How much horsepower am I gonna need to run this machine? So you are gonna need at minimum a PTO horsepower of 55 horsepower. So that is at the PTO. So you have to remember with your tractor, you have to look at the PTO horsepower whenever you're running this machine. You have to keep in mind, the more horsepower you have going towards the rear, the larger material you're going to be able to cut. So if you only have a 55 horsepower at the PTO tractor, you're gonna get the minimum cutting quality out of this machine. Whereas if you have a little bit larger machine, you're gonna get more out of it. Now, warranties, let's talk about that. The main warranty that you're going to have is going to be on your gear gearboxes. You have four gearboxes on this machine. Those are all going to come with a five-year warranty. So make sure to keep that in mind whenever you're talking to your dealership and knowing that you have that five-year warranty on those machines. Another big one is going to be weight. So whenever we are talking about the weight of this machine, how much your tractor is going to be pulling, the weight of the FC15M is going to be right around 5,000 pounds just a touch over actually, it's gonna be around 5,035 pounds. So that is what you're going to need to expect to pull whenever you're looking at travel width. So that's gonna be the width from the widest point of the machine to the widest point on the other side. You're looking at 9.1 feet. So keep that in mind whenever you're pulling this from field to field, you are gonna be 9.1 feet wide with the wings completely folded up. Once you have those wings completely folded out, 
you're going to be over that 15 foot cutting width. You're actually going to be closer to around 15, six. So if you've got gates that you need to get in and out of things like that, places that you know, you have trees that you're going to be trying to mow in between. If they're not at least 15, six, you are not going to fit with your wings all the way out on this machine. Now, when we get down to pricing that changes on these things all the time. So what I suggest is that you go in and talk to your local John Deere dealership, see what the price is going for on these machines, see what type of incentives there are on these machines, see if there are any deals or discounts or also any financing options if that is something that you're looking into. But overall, guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask that you would hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you are looking for more videos like this or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general, make sure to go check out the rest of the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.